Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the only way to get certain games running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, including Lost Ark, Elden Ring, PUBG, and the latest season of Fortnite, as well as plenty of other games. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please make sure to subscribe to keep up to the latest Mac gaming news. So there are plenty of ways to get popular Windows games running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac through the Parallels Virtual Machine method or running the game through Crossover. However, some games are just not going to be able to work. Those include games that run through DirectX 12, as well as games that use specific anti-cheat functions. And this includes games like Lost Ark, which uses easy anti-cheat and is currently not compatible with the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And the only way to play those games is gonna be through a cloud streaming service. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a service called Boosteroid. And this supports all of the games that I've mentioned as well as plenty of others too. So the first thing that we need to do is to sign up to Boosteroid. So if you scroll down and click the link at the very top of the video description then you'll find my affiliate link for Boosteroid. If you click the link and make a purchase you'll be really helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked on the link, it's gonna prompt you to create an account. So what we're gonna do is to type in our email, phone, and password and sign up for the service. Next, we're gonna to have to activate your account via email. So just check the email address which you used to sign up and then press the activate account button here. Now we just need to log in with the account details we just created. And then we're gonna reach the Boostroid main page here. So if you want to find out what games are playable, what you can do is go ahead and press the library button and then you'll see all of the games that are available to play. And in order to play most of these games, you're gonna need the appropriate license purchased on that account. So for example, if I wanted to play FIFA 22 on Steam, I need to have that game purchased on a Steam account. So here we're gonna load up the game Lost Ark, which is gonna be on the main page, or you can do a search for it here. You can type in the word Lost Ark, and then you can find the game here. We're gonna go ahead and select it, and then we're gonna press the play button here. And here it's saying that we need to subscribe. So I'm gonna press the subscribe button here. So there are basically two different subscription rates that basically offer the same level of service. So start is nine euros 89 a month at the time of recording. And basically this is a month by month contract. And if you wanted to pay for ultimate, this is only seven euros 49 per month. However, you locked into a one year contract. So you'll be locked into paying 89 euros 89 cents for an entire year. So it's really up to you which one you want to try. I'd really think about subscribing for a single month just to see if it's the right thing for you and whether you get the right speed and latency. Before you buy as well, you might consider doing a speed network test. So when you're logged into the account, you can click on this network test icon here and that's gonna tell you how fast your connection is. So here I'm getting a bandwidth of 84 megabit per second and a latency of 24 milliseconds. So this is roughly around what we need to be able to get games working. For best results, I would definitely connect directly into your router via an ethernet cable to try and reduce the amount of latency and increase bandwidth. Also, before you subscribe, you should definitely check which games are available for you. You're restricted to specific platforms, Battle.net, Epic Games Store, Origin, Rockstar Games, Steam, etc. So these are the only stores that you can use. You can't use GOG, for example, and you can't install your own games. However, if you think this is right for you, what we're gonna do is to press the subscribe and play button. And here I'm going to be using the one month service. Here I'm gonna accept the terms and conditions and we're gonna enter our credit card details. So now that I've made my payment, what I'm gonna do is to press the back button until I get back to the main menu. So now we're gonna test out the game Lost Ark. And what you can do is go to the search menu here and we're gonna type in the word Lost Ark and I'm gonna find the game here, which I'm gonna select. So I'm gonna demonstrate this now by pressing the play button here. And all this is doing is logging into the Steam account using the Boostroid stream. So all we need to do now is to log into our Steam account. So now the window has automatically full screened and we're gonna log into our Steam account. So if you don't have a Steam account already, just click the create a new account button and you can set up a Steam account completely for free. Or if you have one already, then just type in your account name and password. So now it's just doing some updates and we're now streaming the Steam client. So what we need to do is to go to library and then we need to type in Lost Ark and we'll find that this game has already been installed on the streamed version of this game. Now I'm gonna press the play button and we're gonna click agree and press play game. And this game is now loading. And despite the fact that this game uses easy anti-cheat, we're still able to get this game running. So now I'm gonna be logging into my character on my existing server and pressing the enter button. And now I'm going to press the launch button here. So definitely I'm very impressed with how good this feels, especially considering that this is a cloud streamed game and all of the video and graphics are coming straight from the internet. None of it's being rendered locally. And it's quite interesting that despite the fact that we're running this through Wi-Fi, we're still getting a decent speed. You can judge for yourself whether you think that this is a playable experience. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't feel like there's any latency at all. So another game that we're gonna try is PUBG. So this is not compatible with the M1 Apple Silicon Mac due to the anti-cheat once again. And what I've done here is jump straight 
into a match. So this is also a game that relies a little bit more on latency because we're doing a lot of shooting and aiming. This is also a game which requires a PUBG license. So make sure that you purchase a copy of PUBG and attach it to your Steam account. So I did play around with this. I managed to get a few kills. It felt a little bit more laggy than Lost Ark, but from my point of view, still playable. So now we're going to try the game Fortnite. So I'm going to press the play button here. And this is going to be an Epic Game Store version of this game. So make sure that you have an Epic account. The Epic account and Fortnite are both free to play. So now we're going to log in with our Epic Games account. And if you don't have an Epic Games account already, you can go ahead and create one for free. So now that we've come into the main menu, what we're going to do is to queue up for a game. So it is actually possible to play Fortnite on Mac OS using the native hardware. However, this version is not actually up to date with the rest of the world. That's because during the beginning of the Epic and Apple lawsuit, Epic basically stopped updating the Mac OS version of Fortnite. This version of the game running through Boosteroid is the Windows version, and this is compatible with all of the console versions versions as well and so you're going to be playing the up-to-date version of Fortnite. So as you can see the latency feels good, it feels very playable and I'm able to get a few kills so that's definitely a win in my book. So the last game I'm going to demonstrate is Elden Ring. So I'm actually playing this with my DualSense PlayStation 5 controller. And as you can see, it seems to work great as well. Elden Ring is another game where you need the license attached to your Steam account in order to work this on Boosteroid. I haven't had a huge amount of time with Elden Ring itself. However, from my experience of playing this with Boosteroid, it seems to be a good experience, especially as we're able to run the game with full controller support and the lag and latency doesn't feel that noticeable in this game. So here you can see from this list, there are plenty of games that do not work on Mac OS that you can actually play through Boosteroid. And basically cloud gaming is the only way to get these games working. So games we haven't shown include the game Destiny 2, as well as Call of Duty Warzone. So this is the multiplayer shooter. And then we've got Diablo 2 Resurrected. This is a DirectX 12 game. And we've got Red Dead Redemption 2, another DirectX 12 game. And then we've got Horizon Zero Dawn as well. And then also games like Cyberpunk 2077. You can actually run Cyberpunk using alternate cloud services too. So if Boosteroid is not the right service for you or you're finding it laggy at all, then please make sure to check out my other video, which is about getting GeForce Now working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And this might work better if you're located further away from one of Boosteroid's data centers, and you might have a GeForce Now data center that's a bit closer to you, and you'll get a better latency and a better gaming experience. So I know that cloud gaming isn't really Mac gaming, and that's because none of the graphics are being rendered on the Mac itself. It's just being streamed through the browser, kind of like the way that you watch Netflix or YouTube. And therefore, if you have an unstable internet connection, you're not gonna have a very good experience. However, this is currently the only way to get games like this running on your Mac. If you did have the option of buying a Windows gaming computer or a console, then you're probably gonna have a better experience playing it on those platforms. However, if you are restricted just to a Mac, then this can be a really good solution as a stopgap. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.